Hello, welcome to Luna Midnight Designs. Today I'll be making a doll for fall. Fall is my favorite season, the shifting of the colors and also, of course, the fashion. So I'll be making a doll inspired by fall. Also with a little bit of a twist. You probably already know because of the thumbnail, but anyway, let's get started. First, I will be making the outfit. So here are some of the patterns and fabric I will be using. The skirt fabric does change and the pattern for the knit sweater also changes and I also add an additional fabric to the coat and change the pattern. I will begin with making the knee-high socks and the blouse. First, I cut the pieces out and always fray check. Always. The socks are very simple. Hem the top and then sew the sides together and then turn out. And voila! Cute knee-high socks. Oh, and here's a sneak peek of the shoes which I will be using. Next, the blouse. After cutting out the pieces, I gather the sleeves at the shoulder and the cuff end. I then sew on the cuffs. I then add the sleeves to the blouse piece, hem the edges of the collar, attach the collar and then sew the side and sleeves closed. And then I completely remake it with a different pattern but the same steps. Next is the knit sweater. I cut out the pieces and fray check the edges. This pattern is very simple. I attach the back pieces to the front at the shoulders, then attach the sleeves, and sew the sides and the sleeves closed. I also add a closure to both the blouse and the sweater. Time for the pleated skirt. This pattern is from Moonlight Jewel, but I just lengthened it. So after cutting out the piece, and freight checking. I then hem the bottom of the skirt and then I begin pinning the pleats, but I use these tiny clips instead of pins. This fabric has these nifty lines already, so I'm just going to use them as a guide for where the pleats will go. After all the pleats are pinned, I take my mini iron and iron the pleats the best I can so they keep the shape. Some fabrics it's easier, but others it's harder. This one was kind of an in-between. After I just quickly sew across the top of the pleats just to better secure them in place and then I add the waistband and a closure. And here's the outfit so far. It's just so cute I wish I had it in my size. Now for the coat. I'll be using this dark brown plaid for the outer layer. Can't have a fall outfit without a little plaid. And then either this floral or plain brown for the lining. In the end, I went with the plain brown. So I cut out all the pieces and fray checked. So to start, I sew the front pieces to the back with both the lining and the outer layer. Ignore the white looking stuff. I tried something and it didn't work. It won't be visible in the end. I then add the sleeves to the outer layer and then sew the lining closed at the sides. Now, I did have some difficulty putting this together so I ended up finishing it off camera. I'm sorry. But what I did next was hem the collar piece then attach it to the outer layer. After that, I took this lining piece, I hemmed the edge and also attached it. And then I sewed the brown lining to the front edge and turned the bottom edge 
in and sewed it. And here is the outfit mostly done. Off camera, I did make her a little scarf. Oh, and here are her shoes again. I believe these are Cerise Hood's um, shoes, but I'm just going to give them a little paint job. And this is how they look. I will spray them with MSC Matte so that they are less shiny. Time for the surprise, but not really because of the thumbnail, but she's getting a pumpkin head. At first I wanted to find a pumpkin that fit to save myself some time, but I didn't like the shallow ridges and the size was either too small or too big. So I got some air dry clay and then began working to make my own pumpkin, which took forever to dry. I start with a ball of clay around the size I want and then I skewer it onto this thing that is around the size of the neck piece that goes through the doll's head. I then use this tool to add the pumpkin ridges, but I dip it in water so that the clay doesn't stick. I picked air dry clay because I thought it would be less heavy, but man this stuff took forever to dry. After that I carve my pumpkin. again. With the tool that I use, I dip it in water so that the clay doesn't stick. So if you're wondering why my hand goes off camera a lot, it's because I'm dipping it in the water. I first carve the mouth, then the eyes. I also use water to smooth out the eyes and the mouth. After the clay has dried a little, I add the little top stump thing of the pumpkin. I also make some leaves and some vines. Only three leaves survived in the end. This clay does break easily, so I think I should have used epoxy clay for the leaves and the vines. Also during the photo shoot, some of the vines ended up breaking too. Time to add paint. First the vines and the leaves. Next the pumpkin stump. I use shades of green and a little bit of brown. After the stump is dry, I paint the pumpkin orange. This is the best part. I then add black to the eyes, the mouth, and the tiny nose. After the paint is dry, I spray the pumpkin with MSC and add eyeshadow to add more details like brown around the stump and the neck hole and a darker orange in the ridges. Now as the clay dried, cracks did form but I didn't mind them because they added to the pumpkin. So over the cracks I added brown as well. Now it took the clay to dry somewhat a week. The inside still isn't fully dry. I bet by the time the video comes out two weeks later, the clay on the inside still won't be fully dry. But the pumpkin heads turned out so good. So I guess the pros weigh out the cons. 
After sealing the pumpkin again, I glue on the vines and the leaves. The pumpkins in the end are more matte than glossy, but they do have a little bit of a shine to them. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did make a second pumpkin head just without a carved face. And here's the final doll, Pumpkin Head, the Spirit of Fall. As the seasons change, the leaves turn orange and begin to fall, the air gets chilly and the wind blows colder, but with a nice hot drink you can always stay warm. Autumn is the season I love most of all. She is so cute. I love her so much. I did give her a little drink to hold. I did try to find a coffee cup charm, but I was out of luck. So this pink drink will do. She is perfect from her shoes to her pumpkin head. I love everything about this doll. I did take photos with both pumpkin heads, so you'll have to let me know in the comments which one you like better. Also, she does need a cute fall name so please leave your suggestions in the comments. I will also mention all the patterns I use are in my description. It's the same with all my other videos, unless I make my own or they don't have clothes. Anyway, thank you all for joining me today. Follow me on Instagram to see more. To be more part of my process, check out my community page for polls on doll ideas and sneak peeks of upcoming videos, and subscribe to get future videos. Thank you all for the love and support. Have a creative day. See you soon. Bye.